Yo, Man and Podcast, episode 314. Welcome back. Welcome back to the we great back, show baby. on Earth. Um, again, Lesless. you may notice, yeah, we are Lesless. Um, but he is doing God's work. He on, is. He's doing... On he's not doing. the Sabbath. Yeah. Flat pack furniture. Wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Man. Prayers so out, I, man. Wish I don't mind my, doing them, you know. On my good friend. I don't... I, I like the challenge. I'm it's like a puzzle. over it, man. It's a puzzle. Do you know why? I don't own a drill. Oh, so it's back to the raw materials, twisting, twisting, twisting the screwdriver. And mm. sometimes, I don't know where it is, uh, the integrity of the screwdriver goes. Yeah. Sometimes it, it might start to twist a bit. And yeah. Now, when, we're, now, now what do we do? Now we're in trouble. <laughs> I um, I see a hack for that recently. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's, if it's more the, the screwdriver goes or the, the screw goes. The head One of the, of the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, I haven't tried it. I've been meaning to try it because... I got a couple of things that it's just mm-hmm. worn down. Mm-hmm. But if you put your screwdriver in, you get elastic band. Yeah, I imagine it's a fairly thick one. Uh huh. Put that into the screw. Yes. And then finger, and it will gives you like oh, new grip. Okay. TikTok and them things, fair. but I, I haven't tried it. I don't fair, know the word. Fair, fair, fair. But um, and Americans want to ban TikTok. Oh shit! Yeah, Crazy they're. Um, people, I think they're gonna man. do it. They might do it. Crazy people. It's wild. Have you Very seen wild. the uh, conspiracies as to why? I've seen a lot of things surrounding TikTok mm. and uh, China, mm-hmm. intelligence. So yeah, they espionage. said that initially it was uh, privacy and people are giving data, information to the Chinese government, yada, yada, yada. Mm-hmm. But the straw which seems to have broken the camel's back is because there's a lot of information mm. being spread on there about the uh, atrocities it- going on in Gaza. Really? Is that what's done it? Yeah. yeah Which yeah, is in yeah. America's best interest, right? For it to not as guests. You don't need those people knowing that wow. you're funded. Yeah. Crazy. I didn't uh, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. It's all happening right now. What's your what, what's your opinion on TikTok? You don't I, I mean you're not a social I, media I don't have it, yeah. mega user by any stretch I, of imagination. I, you know what? I'm I'm a mega user but in incognito mode. I know that. Yes. <laughs> I wasn't trying to uh that. I ain't got my own um profile with my face on there and whatnot because my life's quite mundane. Um, do you on TikTok as well? Incognito? No, I'm not on okay. TikTok though because I when it came out uh, with Keek was that one of them as well? Keek, there was a well before Instagram had videos. Uh-huh. It was Vine, Vine. Was so I never got on those yet, mm. and I thought that was because oh, that's for the younger generation. Mm. When I say young generation, that's probably for people that was like five years younger than us. Yeah, now yeah, yeah. we're a bit longer in the tooth, so mm-hmm. I thought TikTok now is for people that are that fifteen younger. years younger. That's than how me. it's been seen for a lot. Uh huh. However. Uh, I will say, yeah, some of the content that is on there that is shared in groups and whatnot, um, informative, funny, I like it. But I think if I add another social media mm. platform into the mix, you're done I here. will literally won't leave my room. Yeah, you're done Or bed. Here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, so that, yeah, that's TikTok's right. uh, you got um, your own like user, your yeah, incognito it's, it's, mode? It's somewhat incognito. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you're not somewhat. doing like dances or cooking? Or, or, no, it's incognito <laughs> because I'm dancing. <laughs> No, um, no, 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 no. It's a Priya's account for the uh-huh. most part. Um, but my, my, what I can do, like between <coughs> TikTok and Instagram. Yeah. I can, if you look, if you were to look at my feeds on both of them, you can see that Instagram I got when I was younger. Okay. Because wow. Instagram came up, we were, well, I'm not even teenagers, young, uh-huh. young adults really, yeah, yeah. innit? Um, so what's the difference in your for you pages? Or your <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going into details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My Instagram page uh, it's to be fair, it's changing more recently, mm-hmm. but um, it's more salacious, okay, more gossipy, more um, what were we talking about? Eye candy, mm, uh, mm, last mm, week. Mm, mm, mm. Um, there were a few comments baddies. as well, people with some some suggestions. Some oh, names, yeah, 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 some um, some yeah, I, that, I tipped my hat that we forgot. Yeah, 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 shout out to those guys, man, that to, to the um, the name droppers in the uh-huh. comments. Um, please still uh, listen to that and <laughs> let us know if we missed anyone, yes. But um, my TikTok now, on the other hand, is I use it, I use, or I use the algorithm as opposed to the algorithm using me on Instagram, where it's stuff that I want to know more about. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. It's like somewhat educational. Yeah. It's more mature. It's interesting. DIY and that. Uh, my Instagram is getting more DIY these okay. days because I've been just searching for where this needs doing yeah, and how yeah. that needs doing. And but then your um, TikTok is more what? wholesome. Or- knowledge. Um, random facts about mm. the Roman Empire maybe yeah. um, just yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff like you know, that but I'm like the I get I might get more interesting value probably from Instagram more uh, from buck. TikTok from TikTok yeah, 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 man. Yeah, and they yeah. want to ban it don't ban it yeah man uh, that banning's what, a bit mad still do you see um, in Texas 
they have banned a uh, porn hub. I saw this, but I remember seeing a story <sighs> a time tough, ago man. where something like this had happened. Uh, on what basis? It is around something around age and free speech is kind of what Pornhub are pushing back with. So I think it's something to do with like your age mm. and verification of age in said states. So it's been banned in possibly, I can't remember the other state. I, feel like I, I want to say it's, it's been banned in, in like Montana Seattle or something. Or something. Like yeah, I yeah. hearing a while ago. So yeah. now it's banned in Texas, but I think it's banned on the premise of something around age verification. I uh, mean, but uh, but t- but mm, on those Pornhub are saying no, it shouldn't be banned because this is like freedom of expression or something. Like mm. that. But yeah, as it stands, they're Porn, going to bad. They're going to baddies hub. Yeah, I don't um, know about that one personally. They got X N X X X or the others. I heard. Yeah, the reality is, if you can't get on Pornhub, there'll be there's a lot. Yeah, I wonder what percentage of internet usage is for smart. The majority. You think large majority, yeah? They say like, <laughs> they say the majority of the internet is porn. Definitely the majority of like the um, space yeah. that it consumes mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. is is porn. And I guess some of it will just be maybe movies in terms of like the terabytes and terabytes you'd be mm. burning. It's got to be porn. Bro, like porn pushes bare things forward. Like... 30 to 35 percent, I think that's massive. That's ma- of the I think entire of the internet. internet, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that, yeah. And bare of that would be probably behind a paywall if you're thinking of yeah. like only fan yeah, content yeah. and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, it pushes bare things. Some people say that, um, like technology, all of that, mm-hmm. the reasons that we get like HD screens and all of that, <laughs> the, the early that's and the first adopters, smart game. You see, VR, smart game. Someone said something so poignant the other day. And um, it kind it made me feel like quite sick. And they were like, "You shouldn't watch like porn in 4K." They're like, the developments mm. in adult content are too much. Like, no, it's, it's, it's too good. The resolution's too <laughs> much. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it's too sharp. Um, and I, I was like, I could imagine that is just like it, it made me feel sick. But why? <laughs> like, it's like that's it's kind of mad. I don't know. They're just like it's, it it's was too much for your brain. That, like, you like you didn't overload. need you didn't that to be in ultra HD. <laughs> see like those varicose veins, goosebumps. Go- yeah, like all that <laughs> madness. Like the like yeah saliva. Liquids. Like yeah. yeah, bubbles. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the nose bubble. Yeah, bubbles. Not good. Not good. Um, but yeah, we we digress, man. We yeah. got here from black taking a furniture. turn. Yeah, Jesus. Um, um, but yeah, Les in here. Uh, but he will be back with us uh, in due course. Yes. Uh, Rich, your week highlights. What you grateful for? What do you put into the uh, gratitude diary this week? Uh, the weather. Nice. In, in, in On select days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's starting to pick up. We've mm-hmm. got a hint of blue skies. I'm wearing shorts for the first time this, yes, this year. Yes, that's the yeah, first yeah. pod, surely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Congratulations. Hey, this is just going to stay this way until maybe like October, I think. Yeah, yeah, that'll be good. Lock that'll in. be a good run. Lock in. So yeah, that's definitely something I'm grateful about. Uh, mm-hmm. The week, yeah, I always say it, but it's been a quick one. Mm-hmm. Um, I got my, my managers away at the moment uh, in Singapore, Singapore office. Okay, on the mice, was it on the mice plane? What's the cat's uh, away? Not nah. really. No, I'm just having to just take on everything and just do all everything. It's tough. You Responsibility. Go, it's tough. Um, but no, it's all all good. Uh, mm-hmm. Quick one, but no, no standout. Nothing. Nah. Just glad to yeah, just glad to make it to another one. Now, I guess technically it is last week's news. Um, it would have been last week. Sunday was Mother's Day. Yeah. Um, yeah shout yeah, out to yeah. everyone shout celebrating. To the, the mums. Shout out to the mums that can't be with their children. Shout mm-hmm. out to the mums that have passed away and whatnot. Um, but yeah, Mother's Day, man. It's, I think the older I get, the more I'm like, yeah, man, let's let's keep celebrating these yeah. properly. Yeah, yeah, you got them. You got to make yeah. the effort. Um, so linked up and all of that. Uh, mm-hmm. But one, I, I mentioned it because one of the stories... Uh, that probably took last week, this week, by storm, mm-hmm. uh, was the Royal Family's Mother's Day. Ah, uh, okay. That's... um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A um, lovely picture. Nice. 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 Nice pic. Nice. Um, Real nice. Very, like, almost um, artificial. You think? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Some would say. Yeah, the um, Royal Family had a 
I almost want to say a drop or it's like a press release there. Mother, and roll out. Mother's Day rollout <laughs> photo, um, which I imagine was released probably Is she the on head Mother's matriarch? Day. Is she the head matriarch? She would be probably one now, of them. Right? Does Camilla like have Camilla? kids? I don't think so. She's just out here just waiting for Charles. Like. Yeah, just waiting. One day I'll be king or Salute. queen. Salute. Um, she don't play about her man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, you'd say she's probably like the head matriarch. Probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they definitely the one that gets the most Megan. attention mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, but, uh, she has been missing for quite some time. Kate, she being Kate Middleton. Yeah. Um, she, was it stomach pains or something? She, Abdominal surgery abdom was yeah. the word on the road, yeah. Which must have been what? At least a couple of months ago. Right? Yeah, probably before Prince Charles announced that he yeah, the, uh, was the diagnosed prostate? with cancer? Uh, a cancer. Oh, yeah, after the, the prostate check. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we still haven't got a release yeah, on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But yeah, the world, the internet picked this image apart mm. and highlighted that a lot of it had been doctored. Doctored. Uh, a lot of it had been photoshopped. A lot of manipulation. There was a lot of mistakes. It was bad Photoshop work. I. Off of first viewing, would you have clocked that there was any manipulations? I would have liked to have seen it without the knowledge. Okay. As someone that can do some of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would have liked to. Uh, have you ever done that stuff? What, photo manipulation? Like, yeah, move stuff about for like news stories and that. Um, like turn the, the clouds blue or like turn Oh, yeah, I do bear that stuff. Yeah, yeah. But uh, maybe, maybe change the sky or like say. Take eye say bags got, off. We've got a headshot for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And. Oh, you do them ones? You, no, I say, not even if it's a bad headshot, but say you got some, I don't know, some brand in the back that we ain't got to deal with, let's say. Uh -huh. I'll just change the background, put you in an office. Mad. Shit like that. Yeah, yeah, do that stuff all the time. Mad, <laughs> mad, mad. Yeah, we used to do that stuff. I don't do so much of that stuff anymore. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. it's lower level. No, it's, it's, mm -hmm. um, it's become easier and easier. Photoshop can do that shit in seconds now. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, yeah, man, man does that. Oh. I doctor bear things that you Part of the really problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is the problem. This Impossible standards. But um, you wouldn't have guessed. You would. You would have liked to have seen the original picture before people had like. As soon as I got him, my my colleague was like, "Have you seen this, Rich?" Like, and he showed me like the ding, 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 ding. Yeah, uh, some of the things <laughs> were like so obscure. I was like, "Sure, like you're a sicko for not to find it." Yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. I wouldn't like to see it and to to see if I've known. I can like so a lot of AI imagery. Mm. I mean, some people can tell anyway, but I can. So we got like stock websites yeah, yeah since yeah, yeah. the uh, AI immersion of AI pair uh -huh. of these websites mix real photos with AI photos so you're just going through it and I can clock pair of them right? okay just, just off eye just I've heard something about um, AI fails to do hands well AI is bad <laughs> with hands so like you'll get an extra finger you yeah. lose a finger two will be like stuck together yeah but they get there eventually but yeah as it stands supposedly that's like one of the big uh, mishaps or standouts failings for, if you like yeah, 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 yeah for yeah, sure for it, AI yeah hands are difficult for AI why do you think that they manipulate the picture off with such irrelevant things like the cuff of a wrist um a I doorknob. think if you're a royal family celebrity anything and you are releasing you are in control of releasing your public image mm -hmm. there's going to be some level of manipulation yeah, um, yeah, it's yeah, a big yeah. word manipulation uh -huh, uh -huh, it could uh -huh. mean so much but um, most of uh, the top Instagrammers, there's, that shit's not raw out the camera. It's like that girl that uh, she was a fitness influencer. <laughs> yes. Her name forgives me and the, the mirrors were bending. And yes, that one. Now, uh, she went, yeah, she, she uh, shit got blown up. Um, so there is going to be some of that, surely. I mean, I say popular people. Average one of the mill people. Yeah, doing yeah, it. I've yeah, seen yeah. it. I've seen. And friends. that was that was part of the spin. Um, I can't remember the exact. Yeah, it was cap statement. Uh, she said she was up she, late. She likes playing with Photoshop. Basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get yeah. the fuck out of here, man. Surely not, you got a team to do it. You're not doing any of that. Actually, no. The so the, the PR for the manager or I don't know mm -hmm. yeah, PR manager for not the royal family, but specifically them lot. Um, mm. Kate. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Will the Utes? Mm -hmm. I know it. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, I used to work with him. Wow, He used to wow, work wow. at my company. Bless guy, bless guy. Um, he wouldn't have been doing the Photoshop. Is he a lizard? He's not <laughs> a lizard. Um, okay. But he would have got someone like me probably to do it. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, but yeah, the errors are weird. There's mm. things that didn't probably need to be doctored. And the reality is most of the things that have been pointed out are the worst parts of it there's probably they probably enhance the smile and yeah, enhance the yeah, eye yeah, white yeah. and shit like uh -huh, that uh -huh. anyway so yeah man it's kind of common practice but yeah very random and i'm kind of happy they got clocked because everybody's doing this it wakes us up again it goes to the highest um, level 
it, it wakes everyone up like oh mm-hmm. these lot are just giving you these things and you buy it take mm-hmm. it at face value mm-hmm. when the reality is it's all manipulation if someone has a look and then they oh we've been caught kind of thing oh we've all mm. what, what do you think is going on with this whole situation it's just dragging on and there's there's more conspiracy theories as we go uh, they become wilder and wilder I saw one this week which might be um, plausible I don't know st- yeah plausible steeped in fact um that Prince William has uh, twins, allegedly, with this other lady. Who? Oh, Cho- have... Chol- Cholmley? Yes. Like, yeah, I forgot her name. Um, I know who uh, she is. And this is poor podding because I haven't done my information. But I know who you're talking about. I can't yeah. remember, quite remember her name. And she's been... That story... She married someone... Suppressed, like She married um, a guy who's actually gay, supposedly. Um, and he now lives in Spain, I believe. But yeah, supposedly, allegedly... I didn't hear about uh, the twins thing, but I heard yeah. about a fit and a fit. Mm-hmm. Um, is it Rose Hambry? Rose Hambry, I think her name possibly is. I feel like it's... Uh, forgive me for getting lines. the name wrong. Um, but yeah, there's all these things going on. Uh, where, where is Kate Middleton, Rich? I don't know, man. Mm. I don't know. None of it, for me, none of it is adding up. Mm-hmm. Say, Speaking of that, actually, I actually know her ex as well. Kate Middleton's ex? Yes. What? Yeah. The black cute? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Tunde, Tunde from yeah. down the road. Shout out to Kate. No, no, no. Actually, no ex, but um, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you about air, that. You know, yeah, air, yeah, yeah, Secret yeah. service. Burst through the <laughs> um, windows. But I, I haven't got a clue. I mm. I mean, even with the, the cancer diagnosis and stuff like that, I don't know why there's so much secrecy around it. Like, there needs to be more disclosure, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. If you want people to, like, kind of emulate you and to admire you, you've got to be honest, I think. Okay. It's like, Mm -hmm. like, just be honest, but I don't, I can't think of outside of your kind of story. Yeah. Why you would want to hide anything else. If it's an illness, a sickness or something, just be honest. It is Mm -hmm. what it is. Mm -hmm. In the words of Anthony Joshua. Yes. But if it's something scandalous, Mm -hmm. I can see why you'd want to cover that up. And, but I don't see why she has to be missing for that. Yeah. yeah, Are they going to make, are they going to hide her for nine months and pretend she was pregnant and, She's gonna be the, pretend to be the mother of. The, it's just not gonna. It's not gonna. Oh no! The, the the twins are out and they're alive. Like they're, they're grown. Than so, okay, so that so that can't be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I don't like. What? Maybe she's just mourning. She's just crying. But right, man, don't know. Maybe she wants to leave. Yeah, and maybe like, she's in a tower. I <laughs> she's in tower. She's she's some tower. Thing. She got to drop the hair yeah, out the I, window. I really don't know. I really, really. Yeah, don't it's know. all it's all very weird. Uh, for I guess a family who are so public and forthcoming mm. and opening community centers and making biscuits with some impoverished children mm. all this stuff yeah for someone to just like disappear off the face disappear off the face of the earth um is i don't know cause for cause for, dis- for discussion yeah at the very least uh yeah at the very least and, and yeah i think the further the longer she stays away the, the more, more the rumor mill, mill keeps ticking over and conspiracy whatnot. yeah uh, which is fun if you're on Twitter. Yeah, of course. Um, if you're living it, it's probably not great. Um, but yeah, man, those are just some of the, the weird stories that, that I've, I've taken heard. place yeah, man. in the past week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch this space. Uh, I don't know what they could tell us that would make me think they've told us the truth in the end. Uh huh. So yeah, uh, now so whatever what story oh. you're fed now, I'm also thinking. Cap. Hmm. Interesting. This is the problem with liars, you know. This is why you shouldn't lie, bro. Yeah. Uh, as my parents told me when I was young. Tell the truth because the truth stays the same. Because yeah, when you you lie in and you yeah, it's a mess. It's a mess. Um, do you season your baked beans, Rich? This is another question. Oh, this week. it's uh, how how do you like your <laughs> baked beans in the morning? It's a question uh, which has uh, rocked me to the very core. Um, do you know that like, American people online they always diss uh, English beans. food? They're like, y'all, y'all eat those beans. Yeah, <laughs> like, they, yeah. they they disrespect. They it's, don't it's really rude. rate an English. They come breakfast. to London and be like, oh, London beans. ain't got no good food. Beans. I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no Dis- you got disrespectful. It wrong. Um, um, yeah, how do you season your beans if you do season your beans? And are you a Heinz man or are you a own brand? Is it a brand? Was it Branson's or something like that? I think they uh, might do Bra- is it Branston? I think Branston. They do their, yeah, 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 they, they, they do their own. They do actual their own beans. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You gotta get them ones when you when the, when your pockets are broke. <laughs> yeah, they, the can's black as well. Yeah. So. <laughs> Couldn't afford the Toxic. green. The green yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, I absolutely, positively, one hundred percent of mm-hmm. the time, always season my beans. Always, uh, always, and is it always the full? 
royal flush of seasonings or sometimes uh, if you're so in a rush, it might just be a black pepper. At the very least, it's a black pepper. I, okay. I've said this to you before. I think we had a, a conversation was like, in fact, we make it a thing. You people of the pod, let mm-hmm. us know. If you can only use one, or using salt Ooh. or using pepper. We we kind of differentiated like are we talking seasoning like post sorry pre okay. meal mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. like post meal like you yeah, put yeah, salt yeah, in your yeah. chips or whatever. My I thought we were talking pre and mm-hmm. mine was like absolutely it's pepper. Pepper, okay. A hundred percent. And post possibly and post, probably salt. Probably salt. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, always always seems in my beams. Always, black black yeah. pepper at the very minimum. Uh-huh. I used to do an onion thing. But then with the onions, it takes longer because they need to like... You need to soften them, them crunchy. Up. It's not yeah, crunchy. No, 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 no. They need to soften up. Um, And yeah, I put quite a few things in my beans. Okay. My beans are like... Elite. My girl's always what, like, what no, you, your... like, you do the beans. You do the like, beans. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I got this. Sous got chef. This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, because there were like a lot of different comments uh, on it. Some people don't season them at all, ever. Um, I must say... Um, and again, this is uh, going against my parents' wisdom when they're kind of like, oh, you can't really taste the difference between the brands and that. Mm. Heinz beans, yeah, elite, might be the thing worth breaking the bank for. No, it's, it's it a- might be worth skipping date night, <laughs> uh, kids' <laughs> private school tuition. Baked beans, they have yeah, to be Heinz. When it's green, it's crazy. It has to be Heinz. Crazy. What Heinz are you, like, um, <laughs> it's almost like a brand loyalty question, but mm. will you ever, or have you ever bought a non-Heinz ketchup? Yeah, tastes like vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Why is this why red, is it red vinegar? <laughs> why is it so sharp? Did they use a- apples instead of tomatoes?" No, I can't lie. Sometimes in the past, when or maybe you're just on a quick little, mm. you grab the the non the, 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 yeah <laughs> that one. But my parents would, well, my dad especially, mm. he'll tell you there's no change, there's no difference. I swear, he's like. You can't, you're just making it up. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you. To save his pockets. Like, no, Heinz ketchup. Come on, man. There's a difference. Again, again. I don't mind. I can do some other ketchups. I could never do another beans. But like beans, for me, this is my general rule. Beans uh-huh. have to be Heinz. Beans means Heinz. Yeah. Ketchup, it should be Heinz. Should be, but you don't, you're not too. Not, I, there's a bit of sway there. Who else is there that does the ketchup? Uh, the other one is, um, they don't do ketchup. But, but like um, a HP or something. HP is a brown sauce thing. Oh, but yes, I'm not, yes. I don't have brown sauce. That's a, no, that's bra- a cap Brown thing. sauce in the cupboard? Nah, it's not brown <laughs> I sauce. I don't know. What, what nah. is brown sauce as well? <laughs> I don't know. Like, bare times I've been like, yeah, pass me the barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, HP is mad. Brown sauce, Why is I it think, like... is mad vinegar. I think it's got bare vinegar. Yeah, it's got yeah. a tang. Again, it's a vinegar thing. Um, but then, mayonnaise, kind of, unless it's a spicy mayo or chipotle mayo, okay. your peri-peri mayo. If it's like just Leon, mayo. Leon, Leon. Yeah, they want they do like I, I, yeah, I, aioli, aioli right. yeah, which is garlic mayo, mad drip. Um, yeah, that's good. That's your big drip if you're buying the Leon yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to them. on the, it's the end island. Clean, clean. Yeah. clean. <laughs> Might get a deal. Bring your club card <laughs> and your nectar. Um, but I was gonna say Hellman's mayonnaise kind of has to be Hellman's as well. Hellman's probably leads the race here. I will say this. Don't say salad. Couple cream. times now at uni, we had the Heinz one. Heinz mayonnaise, mad. I've never even mad. thought about it. Mad, mad, mad. Have you seen the thing about um high, uh, about mayonnaise and how it's like white people seasoning or something? Yeah, like loads of black people don't have mayonnaise a lot, and they think it's butter. It's like yeah, yeah. But I was like a I didn't. Mayo. I didn't used to really be on mayo. Like for me back in the day, mm. chips, red sauce, ketchup, yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Chips and mayo, chips and mayo. Up, serious, yeah, 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 yeah big yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, big up, yeah. big up the um the Dutch uh-huh. listeners among us, the Scandinavians. Yeah, and that. man, yeah, yeah, that's their that's their thing. Um, but yeah, no, for hands the beans. <laughs> Ideally, do you, I haven't actually beans. asked you back then. Seasoning. Do so, you season your beans? <sighs> I don't like time, the side. Times, I don't have, like the times side. have changed. I'm time poor. <sighs> so, on a if it's on like a a random day, yeah, lunchtime, I might not season them. What just just raw raw beans? Raw dog in the beans. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> However, oh. if it's Sunday morning. Big Sunday breakfast. Yeah, you got to do it. Chopping board out. Mm, yeah, yeah, Chop, 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 chop. We're seasoning it up. Onions, little bit of chilli pepper. Yeah. I, t- I even put paprika in there for a little smoky. Yeah, get a smoky little. Smoky drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yes, on times where I have time or occasions where I have time, they're getting seasoned. Mm. Namely, a big Sunday breakfast. Yeah, Sunday's one. But I- beans aren't really part of my forte on a on a 
day to day. Yeah, no, no, no. If anything, it's a Sunday. Uh huh. Um, but no, season season them up. Um, a lot of people say that. Do you use that Maggie? Maggie? Maggie as a seasoning. Yeah. So a lot of my African friends. Use yeah, Maggie's Maggie's big in um, um on the continent. Yes, the African, on, the, on, no, on no, the, no, the biggest, the best on the continent. European continent. Um, Maggie seasoning. Yeah, it's not really in my yard. I it's not. Lie. It's. I didn't grow up with it. No, I didn't grow up with it either. Uh, Liquid seasoning. I use it if I buy like noodles. I'll get the Maggie noodles because they taste better than. Like, oh, okay. The other other or the, or Indomie. Indomie is also good. Mm-hmm. But um, no, nah, I don't have a Mag- Maggie seasoning. Is not in my cupboard like that. Nah, no, 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 not not mine. But some people say they chuck that in the beans as well. Mm. Uh, hot sauce, uh, your hot sauce of choice. Um, some people put barbecue sauce as well, or mm. Encona if you're looking at the the, the, the hot whole sauce, shout out to which is always in uh, a cupboard. It seems, um, and it, I hate Encona. You know the thing at the top. I have to use it for a while. It it's gets like raw, the, the like hardened, like, mm. con- congealed hot sauce. Yeah, grim. that's not cool. Herbs and coriander in my beans. That's that's when you're doing too much. I think that's too much. Like. That's too much. Gordon Ramsay and them, man, like chill out. Uh, yeah, you're doing a bit. You're Scotch doing a bit much, mate. In a beans, too way too hot for me. Yeah. In like, well, how many cans of beans am I making, bro? How many? How many uh, it's how the one. It's the one breakfast? kind of beans for the the, the two of you on your Sunday breakfast. What, a whole Scotch bonnet. It looks like a half diced. No, I think uh, that's going to be way too hot. Yeah, it's a lot. You Plus need like, the hot sauce. Yeah, what are you trying to do? You're ruining yeah, your Sunday. Yeah. Too much. Sunday might be exed. Um, but yeah, man, seasoned beans, I think, yeah, they're, they're a game changer. They take it up another level. Yeah, it's, it's become essential. It's become mm. essential for me. Americans are probably thinking, what are these idiots talking about? Yeah, but, they just don't. But what do they know? They ain't been, they ain't been around the saucy, man. What, what do they know, man? Flavours and that. Yeah, let us know uh, if you season your beans uh, and if you are, was it a true true black, a real black, real black season this? <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm probably not real black. Um, speaking of Americans, uh, this week, CBS... Uh, Galazzo show uh, is broadcast in America uh, with Kate Abdo, Omri, Carragher, oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, Mika or Mika. I can't remember what they call him at the minute. Yeah, Richards, changes, isn't it? Yeah, from day to day it changes. Uh, did you see Jamie Carragher's hoo-ha gaff. mishap gaff uh, earlier this week uh, after the Arsenal and Porto game? Yes. Uh, uh, and what did you make of it? Should I play the, should I play the clip? Yeah, run the clip. Run the clip. For the last part, you've got to wear it. It's I, all no, I'm loyal. I'm loyal. To who? Like oh, like Manchester United. Flags, man. Thank you Mine's very like much. Look nice. Not to Malik. What? <laughs> Why would you even say that? Sorry. He hasn't had a mention in the show yet. He hasn't had a mention. Oh, just watching it is like watching a car crash. It's crazy. Uh, over and over again. Yeah. I hate to see it. Um, yeah, Jamie Carragher made a. Joke, uh, mistimed, An attempted joke, attempt at a joke uh, with regard to Kate Abdo not being loyal to her fiance uh, Malik, who is Malik Deontay, Scott, Malik Deontay Scott, Deontay Wilder's Deontay Wilder's trainer. trainer. Um, what, what, what did you? What was your take on this, Rich? So workplace banter. That's not good banter. No, by any by any stretch. In, mm-hmm. in, in any setting, you know, we spoke about can you take a joke and all that kind of yes. stuff. Yes. We said don't joke on mothers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dads could get it. <laughs> um, Dads are safe space. Don't joke on women, we kind of said, isn't it, as well? Also, and certainly oh, don't yeah, joke yeah, on, yeah, yeah. on partners. It's poor stuff. And like, it wasn't funny. Uh, it was about loyalty. Like, what? What? Like, we're, now we're doing, now we're doing work husbands. Like, yeah. Now, yeah, yeah, like, it's yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. It's poor. It's very, it's very, very, very yeah. poor form. Usually, like, with these videos, you see them chucked in, like, a million different WhatsApp groups and, like, after a while, it loses its effect. Like, mm. you're seeing it, cool. Mm. But every time I watch this video, I just cringe. Like, it's just horrible. She said exactly, like, why would you say that? Why would you say that? Like, yeah. Why Why would you actually say something so wild? Um, and I think it is probably part of... Um, I guess them being aware of the popularity of the yeah, show yeah, and that like, yeah. they're going viral for yeah. being jesters, um, and, I... and he's running with the in joke that Kate and Thierry Henry probably have a kind of allude to, yeah, like it's like yeah, 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 a, a weird, but you know, like relationship. It's uh, what, what's that? What did man that random used to say? What's what's understood ain't got to be explained. Yes, <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. but I remember using that in the wrong context mm-hmm. at a point. But we'll speak about it another time. Mm-hmm. But like, like, don't it's like Al Heyman, Voldemort. Don't say it. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. You can, we can allude to yeah, it and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's like, um, there's a girl who I work with. She does like comedy, mm-hmm. 
Mm. And she's like, she does about, comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's interesting. Does stand up and stuff like that. That's that's proper interesting. Um, but she's talking about it's like, I think she called it something inference. Yes. So, but it's like inferred. The joke yes. is inferred. You don't have to say yes. Da, 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 da. Um, and yeah, Jamie Carragher went ahead and did that. It's the 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 worst part for me. It's the laugh after he says it. He knows. He knows the, that. It's like, <laughs> like <laughs> a cackle. Yeah. He's like manic. Oh god. Like I got you, kind of thing. You didn't. It's bro. tough, and no one. Everyone Joined like, him as well. No, like they no, all had no, their no. different reactions. Nobody thought it was. It wasn't good. No, it was just. It was just no, bad. No, it was no, bad. No, it was very bad. Yeah, workplace banter. Um, I think that's just a, an example of not, 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 not pushing it too much. There's lines, man. There's, There's lines. lines, and yeah, in the workplace, them lines are going to be drawn mm-hmm. even tighter. And imagine doing it on in TV. front of the world. Yeah, in front of the world. It's horrible. Now what? Like now, now Malik Scott's Yeah, on you. Extra rounds. Yeah. Like, you know? <laughs> He's yeah, doing more he's gonna bring his mate bag. Deontay to come and yeah, it's, lay it's, you out. Yeah, it's poor. It's poor for man. Yeah. I didn't know she was with uh, Malik Scott because I knew who she was with before then as well. Uh, it was one of the Akin Barak. Y- yes, she was with Barak. Yeah, yeah, boxing bully. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. I didn't realize that she, there was a, where the switch was. She's a fan. Yeah, 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 the yeah. Combat, combat sports man. Shout out to her. She, was she engaged now, isn't it? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I just rate Kate as well, man. Yeah. Big up Kate. Okay. Don't ever attack Kate. I leave her like. alone. And uh, have you seen the response video that she's posted? Yes, or where she kind of... Yeah, yeah, gives everyone a telling off. Gives uh-huh, him a telling uh-huh, off. Uh-huh. About they're, they're like my brothers. Classy. Yeah. yeah. She's... We need more Kate Abdul. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, she's Top just... broadcaster. She's good, man. She's yeah, very good. Yeah. Less, less Jamie Carragher's. Yeah. And I guess we shouldn't be surprised. He spat a kid, right? He what? He spat at a kid. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah, he did, didn't it? <laughs> and yeah, now he's back on our TV. <laughs> <laughs> when, when was that now? Was this before cancel culture? No. It, was, it wasn't was even that no, long ago, No, he survived. He is Chris Brown. <laughs> yeah, spitting at... Get, getting away with <laughs> spitting at a child is wild. Yeah, because their their dad was singing songs at you. Yeah. Spit, like, wind down the window, slowing down, hawking and spitting is... That's mad. Crazy. So we shouldn't we shouldn't be surprised. That's mad. <laughs> that um sometimes Jamie Carragher goes off script. Yeah. Um, what whatever next? Um do you think he's gonna tone it down? I think he will, naturally. Mm-hmm. He's got his telling off. Um yeah. she said he apologized. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh but that is the sh- not that's the show, but they've yes. got to keep something, but yeah, it's got yeah, yeah. it's gotta be not everything's funny. Mm. And it's gotta be in keeping. There's like your Venn diagram. Uh-huh. Don't like, step outside. Don't that. come outside yeah, the yeah, circle, yeah. Stay bro. There. Stay yeah. there and keep the jokes like uh-huh. there, like bring relationships and stuff like that. Now nah, that's right. like that's a big accusation. You look at man weird like that after, like if that yeah. happens among the man them, and like Switching. someone's crossed the line, mm. particularly if it's not funny. Mm. If a man's crossed the line, but it's like yeah. it's, like, it's <laughs> unanimous, play. belly laughs, uh-huh. then you know what? Cool. Ding, you got me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, no one's laughed. I want to say if it's a new man, he could probably get dropped out for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's lucky he's got a bit of credit in the bank, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but his his credit is low. Mm. He, he's not getting the full the full amount. He's um he's dug into it. So he's, uh, compared to credit, like well, he, credit history if he did a search right. He's looking bad in <laughs> it. He's got, uh, nine, nine, nine. CCJ. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> it's tough to watch, man. Um but I'm glad they all sorted it out. Yeah, because um, it is it's one of the It's a good it's certainly show. one of the most viral shows because I don't. Wa- mm-hmm. I've never watched the show. Yeah. It's, I don't think there's loads of football. T- they're literally trying to just make jokes mm. all the time. And mm. I saw something um, the other day, a comment on the show, and they were just like, "Grow men just saying, oh, it's, <laughs> oh, it's not good TV." Um, but I like it. It's a, it's a silly like show. It. I'm but here yeah, for it. sometimes yeah, man, you just gotta remind yourself that there are levels, rules, and yeah, yeah, boundaries. I like a lot of these shows. Those shows. Mm-hmm. The, uh, I don't yeah, want to say they're not ones. football shows particularly, mm. um, but like the overlap and uh, what you've got with, I guess it's usually Gary Neville, uh-huh. uh, Roy Keane, uh, sometimes little, Carragher, little crew, Ian Wright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, like, I like that that space, that world. I like, mm-hmm. I like a lot of that stuff. It's it's it's, it's good fun. Is it, yeah, it's, I think it's insightful as well. Mm. Um, yeah, that yeah, as these well. have done it at the highest level. Mm. Um, so you're hearing their their tales and like their thoughts and spins on things. Good, mm. um, but yeah, Jamie, man, you got got it wrong again, man. That's that's two. That's two. <laughs> nice. He's on two strikes. Um, I don't know if you saw it, Rich. Did you see that the UK is officially the world's most, the world's second most miserable country? 
who who are we behind? It's tough to. <laughs> who has it worse who, who are than we people in uh, the UK? So the top ten, um, and some of these are understandable why they'd be miserable uh, with everything that's going on in the world right now. Mm. Uh, ten is Yemen. Fair. Nine is Iraq. Eight is Ireland. Seven is Egypt. Six is Australia. Five is Tajikistan. Uh, Brazil is fourth in terms of unhappiness. Mm. South Africa, third. UK, second. And Uzbekistan uh, is it's number first. one uh, unhappiest, most miserable country in the world, which is mad. I wonder how this is even measured. Uh, I believe uh, there are different metrics. I think some um, things include uh, economic stances uh, yes. economic sorry position uh when the uh what am i saying countries like gdp <laughs> when the inf- uh, questions are asked and whatnot mm. um a survey is taken that was the phrase i was looking okay, for yeah. so yeah things like gdp i think war uh plays a part oh, as well with a lot things of them like countries. weather and stuff like that um so yeah these things influence it uh, and yeah uzbekistan topic and uk is only second which is why i agree that when we all say that UK is bad vibes, I guess this is this is this, this is, is official. This is truth. Yeah, it's a fact. There you go. It's on, it's on it's on paper. What do you um do you think? How you feel about the place you're in? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel like I'm saying this wrong. So does that necessarily mean the place is miserable? Mm-hmm. Or do you think it means the people are miserable? I mean, there is definitely some connection between yeah. the two, particularly a lot of the war torn countries. But I say that because whether it's rain, shine, mm-hmm. snow, we always complain about the weather. Yeah. So as soon as like we get what we've been asking for and mm-hmm. then complain about it. Maybe it's the people. I think it's a very British thing. Mm-hmm. I think it's a very British thing to... Oh, because when it's hot, we moan as well. As soon as it gets like, oh, we'll be like, oh man, it's really cold out. Oh, it's really wet out. Sun shines. Oh, it's too hot. Mm-hmm. It's too hot. Mm-hmm. I think we're um, we're very hard to satisfy. It's perennial moaners. Yeah, and especially when you compare it to a lot of those other countries that have, in my opinion, more legitimate reason yes. to be miserable. Yeah. I read that as we're kind of miserable bastards. And I also say it as a bit of a miserable bastard. Yeah, yeah. If we're being honest, I'm. I I can. Do you think uh, as time goes on, you're becoming less or more miserable? I am becoming more miserable. You're becoming more (laughs) Uzbeki. Yeah, I'm becoming. Yeah, I'm a stan still. uh, Uzbekistan. No, but I am. I'm. I think i'm naturally leaning to become more miserable and i think that's what tends to happen in life like mm-hmm. older people seem more miserable some not all of them yeah. actually but i'm 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 making an effort to not oh okay you're fighting, I'm, fighting I've, I've noticed it it was I've noticed it it was a mental health um, poll. poll okay uh mood outlook social self driver motivation mind body connection cognition and adaptability and also resilience. Mm. And yeah, we are number two. Horrible. Uh, which countries do you think are the happiest? I hear you cry. That's a great question. Top of, top of, top of your, your, your head. Uh, uh, no. Who's happy? Any, nothing behind it. Yeah, who is happy? All right, I'm going to say Thailand should make that list. I know okay. it's the land of smiles. Um, I'm kind of going simply off of that. Yeah. To be fair. Yeah. <laughs> um, I believe... Costa Rica should also make the list. Okay. They um like disbanded their military a while ago. Nice. Like, they're like nice, good, we don't good vibes. It. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. That's like, Let's just party. Sounds like, like yeah. a happy place to me. Mm-hmm. Uh I, I feel like I'm surprised Brazil's there, but I guess Brazil it's like it seems like a big party somewhat, but there's bare poverty. There's a lot of Bolsonaro, whatever his name I is. I reckon yeah. the Nordic people then, man. I reckon Okay. Sweden or Switzerland should be in there. Even this. though they're in the dark for Switzerland, they don't care months. about anything. Switzerland, yeah, they probably didn't vote because they just didn't they, want yeah, to yeah, offend yeah, anyone. Um, <laughs> um, I would say some of the yeah, some of the Nordic countries. I feel like they've got certain things figured out. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, who? So, I mean, you've read the list. Yeah, is there anybody who didn't make it that you thought would be on it? There isn't. <laughs> I, sorry, I was surprised with some of the countries on there. I will say with the happy. Yes. Okay. Uh, just based around like crime, mm. 
um, I guess, political instability, stuff like that. However, some of these countries made the list, um, South American countries. Uh, So the happiest uh, top 10, starting at 10, uh, Uruguay. Okay. Don't really know loads about Uruguay, if I'm being totally honest. Luis Suarez. Luis Suarez and Cavani. Cavani. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Number nine, Costa Rica. Oh, it was on there. There you go. Get in, win on. Get rid of these militaries. Uh, El Salvador is number eight. Okay. I feel like El Salvador has a lot of uh, crime. I mean, a lot of these countries do. Narco state type. A lot of them do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Venezuela, seven. They've got. I think they've got terrible um, hyperinflation. I'm surprised. I know Argentina do. Argentina aren't on the list, are they? Uh, No, no, no. no, Okay. Um, Keep going. Six is Nigeria. Oh, okay. Young population, I guess. Yeah. Probably optimistic when you're when you're young. Yeah, especially a lot of them spending other people's money. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Uh, five is uh, Malaysia don't know loads about Malaysia personally okay yeah I don't know too much four Panama okay they've got a lot of money there yeah 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 a lot of money Uh, three Tanzania oh yeah Tanzania seems to be coming up in the world Mm. see I've I've seen a lot more Instagram content and beaches and okay seeing a lot more right there yeah 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 more content two Sri Lanka yeah, I've been no, there. I know nothing about Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is a really nice place. No, really like nice. A few place. Sri Lankans, but I don't know much about their their history. Uh, they're quite happy people. Mm. I don't see many frowns. Yeah, they're they're, they're number two, man. Uh, and number one, it's not Thailand. It's the Dominican Republic. Okay, which to me is a massive surprise. Yeah, I'm not not sure I would have had them as number one. No, who would you have had as number one bar Thailand? Uh, definitely not the French. Mm. I'm not like I take to the streets too much. Not not European. If anything, it would have been some of them like no no the, the Nordic the, the, states. The, the, yeah, and it's me. funny there are uh, no European no European countries in there in the top ten, uh, which tells you uh, a fair bit. Because um, yeah, I guess we're we're fairly pessimistic. Yeah, I don't know. You know, um, I don't know what, what I was talking about. Mm-hmm. It's a su- surprising, man. Um, and yeah, Australia's number six on unhappiest. Not not entirely uh, surprised uh, about that. Um, yeah, hopefully we can we can work to to get onto that happy scale, man. It's gonna take a while, man. <laughs> yeah, um, with all of the uh, racism. Uh, see the Diane Abbott. Oh stuff? man, I just <laughs> I spoke to my mum about this earlier this week. My mum, my mum's really with it when it comes to these race, yeah, this race stuff. Yeah, I guess yeah, being yeah. a black woman. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, she was she was ramped up at first. I had heard I'd heard it. Um, can you? What's the, have you got the name? Frank, what's the name of the MP? The Frank MP, Hurst? Frank Hurst. Uh, I'm assuming conservative MP. I'd imagine so. Yeah. Um, he said Diane Abbott made me almost maybe I think he said, or temporarily made me hate all black women. And then Richie Sunak said she should just accept the apology. I'm sick of this shit. Yeah, we're I'm sick of this shit. We're, we're, we're sleepwalking into some weird place, man. I'm, I'm probably like, I heard it and I was like, no, I must have heard it wrong. Mm-hmm. And then I've, I've reread it and mm-hmm. I'm like, man, really said that. And yeah. Sunak is a madman. Like, if this was said about any other race, uh-huh. any other race, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're, they're going to ban protesting soon and ban certain flags that protests. Mm. And you're allowed to say stuff like this. Say that and then just, oh, no, do you know what? There's he made a, a mistake. Walk it back. There's a hierarchy, man. Yeah, no, this shit, this shit vexes me, man. Mm-hmm. It makes me very, very mad. Am I surprised? Not particularly. I'm surprised more with it in conjunction with other things we're seeing yeah. happen simultaneously. Timing. Like, I think I saw something on Twitter uh, about Wiley had his MBE revoked. Okay, yeah. Because of some words he said about mm. certain people. Yeah. He's not in any position of power. He's at least borderline mentally ill. <laughs> like, and they said, you know what? Take his MBE. Like mm. they, they went to the, t- take the best, take the, the, yeah, take yeah, the yeah. most important thing Get we can take from him. And this, and my man in a position of power, an mm. MP, someone you're supposed to look up to, someone that has been voted to be, should be in control, yeah, yeah, should have some qualification. Yeah, yeah. People, yeah, this person's supposed to be a representative of the wider nation. And we're just like, run it back. It's cool. Apologize. Say sorry. It's calm. That's crazy. Accept the apology as well. Crazy. And then Sunak, I never really liked him anyway, man. Yeah. I didn't get... I didn't, uh, <laughs> what was you, you? You was on thing, innit? What's it called? Uh, in the pandemic. What's it called? The 4-4? Four, four? Oh, furlough. Furlough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I never got furloughed, so, so fuck yeah, you, Rishi. I got furloughed, but it's still fuck him. Yeah. I don't care about it. Don't yeah, care no. About it's, it. it's just mad. It's mad. And then I'm for the Prime Minister to say, yeah, no. He didn't mean it kind of thing, like... 
excuse me. I saw some tweets from Corbin saying like, going through uh, Diane Abbott's record. Mm. She was right about this. If, if we'd listened to her, we wouldn't have went for the, was it the W Mass Weapons? The WMDs. Mass, the man. WMDs, mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we wouldn't have been in a, uh, that war. We wouldn't have did something else. And right. Shake the tapes. The receipts and are yeah, there. I think well, the only thing they did is because she got some numbers wrong. Like, she misquoted some numbers like, a few times. It's like, For me, yeah. th- like, that's the definition of like moron and like racism for me. Mm. Like if I am attacked by a straight white man, mm-hmm. it's now okay for me to hate all straight white men. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's it's crazy. Yeah. And even like she wouldn't have done anything crazy to it. Yeah, this, well, yeah it wasn't like, an yeah, attack. Yeah, like yeah. that would if I was attacked then perhaps <laughs> I'd have more reason. But it's just it's moronic, man, to think that someone in power Mm-hmm. can just be like yeah one bad experience I hate them all Ooh, yeah and you're a public representative and you're saying this and you th- you thought you could say that as yeah, well. yeah you thought it and you didn't check yourself but you and then you, you said still it. said it yeah, yeah, yeah. and now stinks. you've said it and people are like hun, hun, just, cool, don't worry about yeah, it it's just frank yeah. Yeah. yeah it stinks man scary out there man be safe stinks. be it safe stinks. be safe stand up for yourselves people um because yeah it's uh, it's wild it's a jungle it's a jungle out there rich <laughs> um before we depart um, I saw a story online and uh, the story goes like this. Um, it's a tweet from Black Barbie underscore Chi. She says, so a couple sent out wedding invitations with an RSVP deadline, very reasonable de- timelines in brackets. Guests who RSVP'd after the date were told RSVP is closed. Guests had missed the deadline and as a consequence will miss their wedding. Final numbers had been turned in. This is the message the happy couple or unhappy couple shared with their guests. Missed RSVP. We're sorry you can't make it to our wedding. Our RSVP deadline has passed and you unfortunately did not respond. We would have loved to have to have had you attend, uh, but final numbers have now been turned in and your presence will be missed. Brad and Groom. Consequences. Are you going to have a ticking timer? Uh, on your invitation list uh, for when you uh, end up getting married, Rich? Uh, I think you have to have an RSVP in it. Like, you're supposed to, right? Yes. You can't, the door just can't be open because you mm-hmm. need to lock in the amount of guests because this is going to change the amount of seats you have. It's going to change the uh, head count in terms of food, how mm-hmm. much food you might be providing, etc. So I get it. Couples need, they need a number. Uh-huh. They need to know if you're going to be in attendance because it's going to cost them. Mm-hmm. They said this is the RSVP date. What? What? Almost no like what are we talking about? Yeah, that's how it should. Work. No issue. That's how it should work. Do you think it went like that? Do I think it went like that? Yes. So um, those people who missed the deadline, do you think they just said rules are rules? I think the couple said <laughs> rules are rules. Yeah. Um, no, there would have been phone up, calls, uproar, phone calls, pulling up. People calling parents, up. telling your telling yeah. your parents to talk to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. and this is just, I think of this and I just think, yeah, weddings are stress, man. Mm-hmm. Big stress. Mm-hmm. 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 Because I don't like that, like, I don't know, it's almost like a level of importance the guest is putting on themselves. Yes, that like, you can... You can't really have this wedding without me. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. check it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can, I def- and, I, and I, I will. And I will, yeah. I will. Why so, should you be an exception? So hold this apology message like, or... The other part of me is like, it's like, you can't, black people time, you can't do black people say, time for do everything. Do you think you know? this is a black thing? Where it's kind of like, ah, oh, when I reach, I reach, man. <laughs> Little more and all this <laughs> to stuff. To my wedding. Yeah, like, oh. come on, it's me, car. like all this stuff. Yeah, the, um, I think, the I great think it is, but I don't think, I think other people go through this as well. Okay. I, mean, I don't think it's completely exclusive. I think particularly for a wedding. Mm-hmm. This has to happen to other people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It has to. Yeah. But like, time means like this day, this time, it means something. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Like mm-hmm. it means something. Mm-hmm. I didn't just put that there for no reason. It weren't for yeah for my own benefit. And now do you have to do the thing gigs. where like we're going to a, an event or whatever, and you tell man three o'clock. That's the, really I think start that's, until that's that might be the biggest uh, pandemic in the culture. Yeah, that one there is. What do, what is it? Like, that's the worst thing fake times. that we do 
the worst thing we do. Yeah, like it's all these there. other crimes, <laughs> adultery, <laughs> the worst thing in the community is, is saying turn up an hour early because adults are going to be are going to be an hour late. Yeah, I that is one of my pet peeves. Do you, you are you you get there for the time people say or attempt to? Uh, I try to. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> 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 However, if something says start at f- like a birthday at three, I don't think I've ever been there at three. But that's calm because it's it's like it's, it's laissez faire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like as as you will come in, drift out, mm. go away, come mm. back. Like that's cool. It's not so. You, so your attitude is different if it's a surprise party. Yeah, I'll be there, yeah. or I'll just miss it altogether. And well, just not come at all. No, no, I'll come like <laughs> after. Safe. But yeah, I'm not yeah, gonna yeah. be like, oh, what are you doing? Like bump into the. At the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're coming here too, kind of thing. Um, but yeah, that one is yes. Oh, it starts at two. So then for all those people that get there at two. What do you expect them to be doing? It's bare side I've been them. there sometimes where <laughs> there's a man we had on the pod actually. Mm. I go to his event, he's not there. <laughs> I've started helping set up. Like, where is he? <laughs> I'm like, where is he? One and two in there, like been there before him, like the, the DJ might be there. <laughs> so so- <laughs> Should I shout? You want to tell yeah, yeah. yeah, like, Since I'm here, like, like I might yeah, yeah, it's not um, it's not cool, man. No, don't no. like it. No, no, no. Don't like it. So let's step it up. Man. I get you can run like you can be running 10, 15 minutes. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Late, and I'm not going to penalize you. Yeah, for it. But Hours, multiple of them. If it is an event where there is a time, which is the most recent one mm-hmm. that we went to, get there before that time. Get there before that time. I actually came, came kind of late, but I knew that it was a fake time job. So fake time. What it is. Please, 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 please. Let's do better as a community, man. We've got to yeah. respect time, man. Yeah. We got we have to, Let's we try have to, to do better. Man. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on. Um but yeah, even on this this wedding thing, uh I think it's it's tough. But sometimes I think tough love's needed, you know. I think you're right. I think the problem is and why this continues to happen mm. is because you let it slide. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You, 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 you bend to the people that say you let it out. You said it's okay, it's cool. You know what? You know what? I wanted to see you so much. You can be here mm-hmm. late. You can, mm-hmm. you can inconvenience me. Yes, because I like you. Because you were sitting around. I, I can forgive it. Mucking or, about at home. Yeah, no, nah, man. Feet, yeah. Tighten up, man. Mm-hmm. Is that, I'm, I'm mm-hmm. proper. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on a lot more of that this year, Dan. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I can't stand for cleanse for shit anymore mm-hmm. because all it, all you're doing is ruining everything. We're hurting ourselves, yeah. But this is why we ain't building. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is why we're last place. Bottom of the ladder. Like we gotta do better, man. You gotta you gotta call it out, man. Imagine your way like how many I wonder how many people you miss out on who who like what percentage do you think won't come if you have if you have w- a deadline? Oh how many how many people are gonna be late? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. say you invited a hundred people just uh-huh. to make it easy. Twenty two. That's a lot of people, man. Twenty people aren't coming. Yeah, so that's you, that's you, a one fifth. We've got seventy eight. Twenty percent. Of your, your guests, count. yeah, mm. that just because so there are two ways of looking at this. Mm. You can look at it like, oh man, like, and it could be some key people in there potentially. No, there, there will be. That's unfortunate. Mm. But the other hand is, it's almost twenty five percent off. Yeah, it's a good. That's now a good we're talking, bit, man, in this economy as like, well. Like, like you just this is the reality, man. I get it. Get it sorted. Get your shit sorted. Unless mm-hmm. there's some, it has to be. What's it? Um, what did you say? At, like union, like, extenu- ex- extenuating in circumstances. circumstances. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. extenuating circumstances. What are the mitigating factors? Uh, what that you will allow? Yeah, like there aren't, there aren't really, are there? There's not loads. Because I would have sent this to you months in advance. Like this mitigating circumstance can't be didn't really hit be you new in it every hour of the days until the deadline. Yeah, there's yeah. time. Because if I ask you what your screen time is on your phone. It's going to be high. It's going to say seven hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you take some minutes out of that and just, RSVP? It don't take long. Just mm-hmm. RSVP. And that's, it's one no of those things, isn't it? It's yeah. like, you don't have to run no P. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do that. Just take, yeah. take. Now they don't tap. have to write it and send it back to them. Yeah, imagine that. Carry a pigeon. Mad thing. Yeah, we've got to do what the grandparents did. Put on a donkey, travel from a town to another. Yeah, it's mad. It's mad. Yeah, it's, it's actually mad. Just mm. sort I, it out. I don't like it, but I do like it. That's where I'm at. Yes, 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 yes. Mm-hmm. I hate that it had to happen. Yeah. But there's a lesson. Lessons will be learned. There's a lesson yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Shout out, shout out to them, man. Shout out to the wedding. Shout out to that couple who are trying to uplift us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sac- to, they're try- sacrificial lambs. Yeah. Martyrs, yeah. if you will. Um, but yeah, let's uh let's step it up, man. Dis- shout out to, to them folks. 
Yeah, and I hope, uh, they, I hope they had a good wedding with less <laughs> less people there. Yeah. Uh, was there anything else? Uh, I oh, think there was the um, I uh, viral clip. We'll insert the clip um mm-hmm. of two women speaking on some podcast. Oh yes, it might, was it? Was it? Were they even the same place? Uh, like no, people were saying they need to stop doing podcasts on Insta. Insta and on phones. Yeah. And I, yeah, I can't get it. Not, not, a, not the biggest fan. We're not in a but, pandemic uh, anymore. The point was was yes. worth talking uh, about. Joy Taylor and Taylor Rooks, uh, two American like, sports correspondents. Okay. Um, they've now joined forces to do a podcast, uh, which is away from sports and just all sorts about life. Um, and they were talking about men who they wish to date or will date. Mm. Uh, those men should have female friends a man that doesn't have any female friendships bingo i I don't want to date a man who only gets input from other men and who has all women in two categories your mother or your aunties or someone i want to sleep with you have to have a broader spectrum on women and their value in your life if you're going to be with me totally well first off only getting information and opinions from other men sounds terrifying. Um, terrifying. So I, I encourage that to not be what anybody does ever, but you're totally right because the more we keep talking about, can you have friends of the opposite sex? The more I start feeling like everybody is like primal animals in a zoo. You literally cannot physically be around someone of the opposite sex without just like your clothes coming off. Like, I, I don't, do it. I don't, and I would never have any relationship that I'm ever in. Like, I'm not going to tell my partner, you can't be around women. Because if I feel like I have to tell you that, what does that say about what I think you're like when I'm not with you? That I can't trust you to be around women. That, like, platonically. I would say that says more about my choices and who I'm with. Because I'm never going to feel like I have to control you or I have to monitor the friendships that you you are Or they'll look at them differently or deduct points if said men that they are dating don't have female friends. Hmm. Do you have female friends? Not loads. I don't have much. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, I fuck with them. The ones that I I, 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 I respect them, I I fuck with them, but... Yeah, yeah, of course not. Um... (laughs) <laughs> but uh, they, we ain't close like that. We can't. Mm. We're not even. We can't be. It just seems it's techy if you're too close, in my opinion. Uh, and I think yeah, you can have female friends, and you should. But I think there's there can be lines or limits mm-hmm. to these friendships sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, and they were saying that what, what uh, she said, she doesn't want to be with a man who. Only has perspectives from opinions. other men. And yeah, 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 yeah. Opinions yeah. from Decision other men. Decision making based on yeah, just just men. What do you think of that? That's quite interesting. <sighs> I am not one hundred percent sure. It, it then that would suggest that men and women have different decision making skills or be- better or worse or I like the angle you're going with. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So. I would like to know, I guess, the deficiencies that men have in, I guess, these decision-making mm. processes um, and, I guess, the... Proficiencies? Proficiencies that the women would, would, would bring. Mm. Um, and I guess it's probably just, yeah, different... Points of view. Points of view, which yeah. Which is fair. Experiences and whatnot. Mm. So, I guess, on the whole, it makes sense. Yeah, you want, like, a 360... Mm. View. View on, yeah, one decision that you're making. Um, I don't know, practically... It's probably, it's probably not very practical. No, yeah, very, very hard to manage, I think. Mm-hmm. But do you think you can still have that? I think you can still have that. I feel like I have that. Input on... Uh, if there are women I can speak to mm-hmm. that may be family, friends. Yeah, but she's saying she wants it to be women who aren't just your mum. There's no relation. Or family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, see yeah. why. I think, yeah, what, where, what difference? Maybe because... Because they know you, or you in there's, there's, not like a, be there's a, a connection that they have to always somewhat agree with you in a sense. Or there's not an anonymous person, somewhat. Yeah, that doesn't have uh, skin in the game, kind mm-hmm. of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I understand that, but I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's necessary. Yeah, like say you were dating again, would you like be like, oh, my girlfriend has to have 
my future girlfriend has to have male has friends. Has to have male friends to impact her decision making. No, that sounds like a bad thing when you you say it. It's like what? Yeah, because then she might be like pushing against you. Yeah, and it's, it's, with it's not like it uh, said the, Jamal the puppet master. It sounds yeah. like like for me to or us to say that it sounds like we're being controlling or whatever. But it's mm-hmm. like one, yeah, you can get advice and stuff from your friends, male or female. Uh huh. But you need to make decisions for, for you. Yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And mm-hmm. like some of the like the flip side of this is like often uh I don't know if I want to say in the past. Yeah, maybe in the past I've mm-hmm. actually personally experienced it a bit. Like you're acting off of what your brethren or your cousin said yeah. about our relationship mm-hmm. or what we should be doing. Like mm-hmm. they ain't in this relationship. Mm-hmm. 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 Like, what are you doing? And that could have been a male or female said that. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I I understand the importance of, you know, a seat at the table on your topic, yeah. different people, a range mm-hmm. of people, diverse, etc. because you're going to have different opinions. Yeah. But the reality is some opinions are shit. It's and very true. Just because she's female doesn't mean she's going to have a good opinion. Either. Mm-hmm. So. And, I, and I think part of what they're saying as well is they want a man who doesn't view women yes. i.e. just sexually or family members. But because I, I, why why wouldn't a man have female friends? I think I get that kind of a little bit. Mm-hmm. So but a single man who she's caught in, why doesn't he have friends that are female? Is it because women are just seen as I think the assumption she's too. made are wrong that you only you only have a relationship with say your mum because she's your mum or your cousin, your female cousin because mm-hmm. she's your cousin. Like, you can have conversations about so much more. Like, to think that that person isn't a friend as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, you're, you're their family member by chance, but then what They're your develops friend, like, after that? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, your parent is your parent, isn't it? Because there are family your members that you... parents can kind of be your friend That as you well. won't speak to. Yeah. There's bare people yeah, I won't yeah, speak yeah, to. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there's bare people I always speak to. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, Because we're... Or they're, they're good, maybe, at giving advice. Or mm-hmm. I, I respect their perspective and stuff yeah. like that i think that's a bit of an error in her thinking that oh because this person isn't related to you and you don't want to sleep with them that they can almost offer no other value in a way well no she's she's, she's kind saying, of saying the yeah, opposite actually she's saying, opposite. she's saying that outside of this mm-hmm. there's no other value yeah no there is but it can be in those people is i guess my point mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, yeah you don't need to i don't think you need to look further afield mm. Just because, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, but then I do understand um, that viewpoint in the sense that yeah, you probably do want a man who doesn't just view women as family members and or and uh, partners, yeah. concubines, or yeah, I don't know, potential, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. just a a shit man. Fair, Fair. Like, if we're being honest. And then we're here saying that we don't have female friends. So yeah, maybe we're the shit guys. No, yeah. again, I feel like I do. Different but situations. They they probably come in in several forms. Some of them are family. Mm-hmm, like, you know, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. some of them. I, when I say female friends, <coughs> I have, and I think we both probably do. We have female friends that we don't check for like that. But I could, if, if we're at a place or whatever, we can chop it up on a thing yeah, yeah, one, yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah, ringing yeah. you and saying. Uh-huh. Oh, I need advice on this yeah, and that. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're good I, friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to hear their opinion. Th- I feel like that's where it gets a bit like, ooh, what like, is? I'm oh, calling you like yeah, in my yeah, time of like, need, and I'm feeling down. Let me come chill on your sofa. Like, I don't know. Maybe uh, I'm not mature enough. Um, but yeah, I feel like that's where you're kind of like interesting. Yeah, that's where it, it has potential to cross a line, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and. We Come cry on my shoulder, on my chest. I've been inclining. Now, <laughs> now you're rating the yes. chair. Yes. Like, yeah. It's techie. I've uh-huh. had. I've actually had really kind of close female friends, and I've seen some of it try to go that way. Hmm. And Scary, I, was. I wasn't looking for that. Yeah. yeah I wanted yeah. a friend. You know, but <laughs> innocent, innocent man. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> just a, a victim. Yeah, I'm just yeah, a victim. Yeah. Um. So yeah, a lot of these things, as I think you might have said before i don't know mm. if you said it on uh, on mic uh, or not yeah there's theory and there's practical mm-hmm, mm-hmm. some people ace their theory test yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and then they've got to do their practical 12 times like that. yeah mm-hmm. practical is mm-hmm. harder it's yeah that's that's the rule that's <laughs> practical is harder the truth. so it, 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 
it is what, what it is. is. Yeah, I think it sounds good what they're saying. Yeah, uh, in the clip, like yeah, you ritual insert, and and it goes viral. Uh, yes, it, it, it travels. Travels. It travels, it travels, it travels, it travels. And yeah, it's their new pod. So yeah, you mm. got to say these things. Um, but yeah, I think as Rich said, yeah, saying it and living it is is very different, man. Because mm. yeah, when you find said man and he's like, oh, I'm just going around to, to Catherine's mm. to just chill. She's in a bad way. And you're just about to put on the Netflix mm. series and he's like, no, nah, she's in a bad way. What's, what's going on now? I need to, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Practice what you preach, man. Mm. Shout out to them. Prez, Prez to all, and I hope they find uh, the, the the man they're looking for, man. Because it's, mm. it's tough out there. It is. Uh, do you want to go to Bring In's Rich? Uh, any recommendations? What should we be watching, listening to, or reading? Yeah, I've got a Bring In. Today's Bring In will be a tune I heard literally just this morning. Mm-hmm. Um, I was playing it as you came in, Dan, and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of, I kind of like this. I think this is going to be in rotation for a minute. Mm-hmm. It's from an artist I'd never heard before. Um, he goes by the name of Benjamin Ad. Okay. Uh, the tune is called Losing, featuring an artist I've become, I become more and more fond of with practically every listen. Mm-hmm. That's uh, Koji Radical. Uh, the song is called Losing, and just kind of hit this morning. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, my bring in this week, oh, it is between two songs. I'm going to bring one. Um, it's a viral song. It's going, it's doing the rounds online. Um, and the song is by Flo Millie. Mm. Uh, and the song is called Never Lose Me. And it's featuring some heavy hitters in the form of Scissor and Cardi B. Uh, it's just good music. And I think it's going to be dominating the airwaves oh, what uh, song of the summer? Summer? and the oaks is um early contender okay early contender okay you'll I hear it now it. and you'll hear it everywhere yeah 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 you'll hear it okay everywhere. you heard it here first folks mm-hmm. that's why we do the bringings uh i forgot to say it yet again but please like share subscribe follow tweet mm-hmm. x dm all of that stuff we've been seeing you you've been heavy on the socials this yeah week. yeah yeah. appreciate all the comments, uh, we man. appreciate it uh keep it coming it's the man and podcast keep it locked Thank you.